Matthew chapter 24. This is a troubling chapter. Because when people, the rapture's coming, we run to Matthew 24 and say, See? See? Who have we been talking to? What have we been talking about? Jews, kingdom of God. Been no church. Only primaries of what the church. And that all depends on what the Jews do with Jesus Christ in the book of Acts. And Jesus went out and departed from the temple. He was in the temple. And his disciples came to him for to show him the buildings of the temple. Lord, see how beautiful this temple is? See how great it is? Look at it. Isn't it great? And Jesus said to them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, There shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. 70 A.D. Less than 40 years when Jesus spoke this. And it's still like this today, 2016. I think the only thing they got left is that welling wall. There may be other parts and pieces. Exactly as it was at the end of Second Chronicles. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives. Get yourself a map of the region. And find where these places are in reference to where he's speaking. It's unbelievable. The disciples came unto him privily. Privately. So there's no one around. It's just him and the twelve. Maybe more. Maybe there's seventy. Tell us when shall these things be. Tell us when the temple's going to be gone. And what shall be the sign of thy coming. And the end of the world. Now look at the questions here. He just said this temple is going to be broken down. Destroyed. Number one, the sign of your coming, number two, and the end of the world, number three. Do you see any questions in there about the rapture? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. So it's possible that the disciples could have been deceived. He's warning Judas. Judas was deceived. Hebrews 3.12 Matthew 24 verses 4, 11, 24 For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Acts 5.36, 21.38 Get the book that I'm quoting from. You shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. They're going on in Jesus' time. They're going on during the book of Acts. They've been going on after all the conditions. In the tribulation period, there's peace. The, the, the rider and the horse. Then there comes famine. And then there comes war. Tribulation. There's always going to be wars. Unto New Jerusalem. See that ye be not troubled. You see these people go, Oh, look at that. We're having a war in Iraq. Oh, trouble. Tr Don't be troubled. This is just, Wars are common. And all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation. And does all the time. And kingdom against kingdoms. Revelation 6 3. And there shall be famines. Revelation 6 12. And pestilences. And earthquakes. Revelation 6 12. I think famines should have been Revelation 6 5 and 6. Earthquakes. Revelation 6 12. In diverse places. That means weird unknowing places that didn't have earthquakes. I got somebody I used to be friends on Facebook and there's just 
all these earthquakes all over the world and yeah and the paper called the end times uh, uh, come on famines and earthquakes are a passage of revelation the tribulation period all these are the beginning of sorrows war we're warned of is man-made pestilence earthquakes they are a result of natural disasters then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you book of acts and you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake book of acts talking to the disciples that will become the apostles Then shall many be offended. Well, I guess you can say that today. There's always been offended. They were offended with Noah. Dare you build that ark and that boat and stuff like that. And shall betray one another. Fox's Book of Martyrs. This is... Huh? Writing, look. This is something that's going on. And he said the end's not here yet. This is just this is going to be your newspapers. And two, I come rapture. Absolutely not to the second coming. You're going to see all this stuff, and for you disciples, you're going to live it in the Book of Acts. It's not. It's not dating no rapture. They show kill you and you shall behave all nations for my name's sake then then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another you can buy you can put that down today you can probably put that down in other ages many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many what are they teaching through Romans? What are they teaching through Second John? What have they been teaching through the New Testament? False prophets. Paul said, listen, I've told you before, they're going to come as soon as I leave. Jesus said, they're, they're amongst you right now. They're wolves in sheep's clothing. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. We're in the end time. But look, look what's going on in America. In the country of India, women throw their babies under an elephant god as it goes down the street and get killed for the worship of that god. That goes on in other nations. That's killing their babies for other gods. That, that's They were doing it in the times of the kings of Judah. Solomon, you think he really could love a thousand wives? All of them the same? It's kind of perverted to have all those wives. You really look at it. Cain must have really loved his brother. He, he, he rocked him to sleep. Or whatever he used. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. That is not church age doctrine. I don't have to endure nothing. I am saved by the blood, by the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, and no man can pluck me out of the Father's hand. So don't say, oh, look, all these things that happened, the rapture's coming, but if you endure. Oh, we left that one. See, we don't want to quote that verse. Because then, you know, we want to have surety of salvation. You ever hear him say, oh, you know, oh, look at earthquakes in places like that, and wars, and rumors of war, and, you know, the rapture's coming, but those that endure to the end, and you see, they throw that verse out. Because that's not rapture, that's not church age. That's something else. How would you like to endure all this? Verse 4, all the way down to 12, going through all these things. You gotta go through all these things, and you gotta come out on top, or you lose your soul. Does that sound like church? Does that sound like this age? Sounds like the tribulation period to me. You gotta go through everything and the works and the sacrifices and the law. 
And this gospel of Christ died for our sins, was buried, and rose again according to the scriptures. Is that what that says? Absolutely not. So when somebody goes running to Matthew 24 to prove the rapture is coming, they're already messed up. It says the gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. Then, then shall the end come. When the gospel of the kingdom goes worldwide, then Jesus Christ is coming. You know who's going to do that? The 144,000, not church Christians. Because we're going to read about those guys in a minute. The gospel's going all the way around the world. The gospel of Jesus died for our sins, was buried, rose again, according. Amen. It's going all around the world. It's going around the world a couple times. But see, the world doesn't end with the rapture, does it? It may end for us, but it doesn't end for Israel. Because look what happens here. Now look at the next event Jesus speaks about. He spoke about when the temple is going to be destroyed. The troops are going to come into Jerusalem. And Titus is going to destroy it all. Now, when ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation, Daniel... 9 12 11 31 12 11 10 30 zephaniah 1 through 3 through 6 spoken of by daniel the prophet now jesus acknowledges daniel acknowledges daniel is a prophet and acknowledges that daniel spoke about the antichrist how's that stand in the holy place <gasps> did you hear there was an earthquake over there you hear? The rapture's coming, and the Antichrist is going to stand in the holy. Where's the holy place? There is no holy place. This is not us, because there is no holy place standing right now in Jerusalem. This is all future. And when this happens, verse fifteen, you are in the three and a half years of tribulation. When this happens, verse 15, you got three and a half years of great tribulation to happen. Jacob's trouble, verse 15. The Antichrist is going to stand up and he's going to be found in the holy place. And he's going to be, here I am. I'm the God of forces. May the force be with me. And he can do everything he wants in signs and wonders. Now watch this. You know Matthew is going to be read in the tribulation period. It's not taught. You know Jews are going to read the book, the Gospel of Matthew. Whosoever reads, let him understand. If this is a tribulation passage that Jesus is speaking about, and he tells you whoever reads this, you better understand the only person he would be speaking to would be Jewish people. Say, hey, in that holy place, the abomination, desolation spoken about Daniel, the Old Testament prophet. You better understand. You better go back to Daniel and you better look at the 70 weeks. You better look at his prophecy. Because now you're going into the great tribulation period. God, Jesus Christ, is warning them Jews, you are in big doo-doo right now. You are in big trouble. Now we're going to get to the end of the world. Then... Let them which be in Judea, in the land of Judea, flee into the mountains. Sail of Petra, the mountain rock city. I'm, I'm throwing that in there. That may not be it. No church is told to go, you know, one time, go to the mountain. They're not told. Let him which is on the housetop not come down to take anything out of his house. Hey, did you hear that in the holy place, there's somebody that sat in there that proclaims to be God? Yeah. Jump down off your roof and don't grab nothing. Run. Get out of here. Your head will go on a butcher's block. And they will drink your blood. Neither let him which is in the field return back to take his clothes. You just go with what you got. Drop your plow and run. Woe unto them that are with child, 
And to them that give suck in those days, you're going to want to take care of that baby. You know what that may have to rely on if you don't be strong and may have to give up the child for God? 666. Six, six. You may have to take that mark in order to feed your child. It'd be better when the, when the abomination desolates, you better not be pregnant. You better not be with a child. That child will be a hindrance to you in the great tribulation period. But pray ye that your flight be not in the winter. Something about the winter is the flights are going to be canceled. Neither on the Sabbath day. The Sabbath day is not in effect in the church age. It's in effect in the tribulation period. You're going to find out that this guy shows up. There he is in the holy temple. Oh, we got to get out of here. Somebody told us to get out of here. Somewhere we read in the scriptures, we got to get out of here. And you run to the airport and sorry, we're closed. It's Sabbath. And Jesus says, you better pray that that day when it happens is not the Sabbath. Because all transportation will be closed. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. Once this guy sets himself up as God Almighty, you can't even say hell on earth to describe what's going to happen. I'm glad I'm saved by the blood and I don't have to go through this. If my salvation resulted in what I read about the tribulation, about works, about the law, I cannot save myself. I'm sorry. You cross me off in an intersection, or the light turns green, you stay three seconds more than you should. That's it. I'm going to hell in the tribulation period under the works and under the law. I don't know how any church can put you under this. It's a mess. Now watch this. And except those days should be shortened. There shall no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be short. And I believe that's the 144,000. If God doesn't change times and, and seasons somewhat, the entire world will be given over to this abomination of Satan. Time will change in the tribulation after the three and a half years. Then if any man say unto you, Lo, here is capital C Christ, or there, believe it not. In the tribulation period, after that three and a half years, people, hey, Christ is over here, come. You know that happened during the end of time? Come, let's go in the temple. Let's shut the door. No, 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 no. I got business to do. I got work to do. For there's... Huh? I'm saying no. But don't you see this happening when we when we did Jeremiah, when we studied the second Chronicles, as we led to Babylon? Don't you see all this mess is going on? And then in Babylon, what did Nebuchadnezzar do? He put up an image. And the whole world, once I play that jukebox, put my quarter in, whatever it costs today, you start doing the boogie woogie. You know the thing that's going to happen? Then why is there a Christian organization say, if you dress up as a cow, come on in and get a free meal, and we'll do the boogie woogie together. And churches praise that organization. Worship the golden crowd, uh, cow. Fall down. I remember having those cow outfits were very suggestive. Uh, and there shall rise false Christ, even as Satan is the ruler, him himself, the Antichrist. But along with the Antichrist, 
John tells us in the second epistle of his, there will be antichrists with a small a. They're running around dime a dozen. You think Waco and, and that guy in Korea and all that's bad? You'll have Antichrist to try to prevent you from the Antichrist to get you to go to hell. And false prophets. Again, the, anti the unholy trinity. Shall show great signs. That's the Antichrist. And wonders. In so much that if it were possible, they should deceive the very elect. I would assume that's the 144,000. That's Satan. That's the unholy trinity doing all these. And the elect is also Israel. Some of them are going to fall. The subject is 1 Corinthians 1.22. Jews require a sign, and Satan is going to use that to get the Jews. He's already got the charismatic movement. But the problem with the charismatic movement, the assignment, and with the signs today, that's not today. That's coming in the future. That's the tribulation period. Behold, I have told you before. So this is something that Jesus spoke often to the disciples. Wherefore, if they shall say unto you, Behold, he's in the desert, Nehemiah, go not forth. Behold, He's in the secret chambers. Nehemiah, believe it not. For as the lightning cometh out of the east. And this is the sun rising. It's not lightning like a lightning storm. When you see the sun coming up over the east. And shines even unto the west. So shall also the coming of the son of man be. This is the coming now. This is how Jesus described it. It was going to be that day. The whole world is going to be in darkness, right? All of a sudden, they're going to see a light. And it's going to get closer. And it's going to get closer. And it's going to get closer. And they're going to take all their idols. They're going to throw them in the hole. They're going to do anything they can to get away from this light. This light is Jesus Christ. For wheresoever the carcass is... There will the eagles be gathered together. Armageddon. Immediately, immediately after the tribulation, look at the words Jesus used, of those days shall the sun be darkened, match that with revelation. And the moon shall not give her light. And the stars shall fall from heaven. Revelation 12. See, we're in the book of Revelation. Imagine John hearing all this and then writing it, seeing it, while being on Blackness and then being carried away. And the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers, superhero powers, powers and principalities, Satan, of the heaven shall be shaken. Revelation 12. Second Advent. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes. Who's that? Of the earth mourn. They shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven. Remember what was Amos said? Won't you desire the day of the Lord? <coughs> Is it not a day of clouds? It's kind of funny because you can't see the sun, the moon, the stars are gone. The clouds of heaven with power and great glory. He shall send his angels with a great sound of a trump and they is that what that said the rapture said trump didn't it jesus said trumpet watch your words the holy spirit wrote 
the exact words. That, that's the trouble with modern Bibles. It's not what the Holy Spirit said. With a trumpet. And they shall gather together his elect Jews. From the four winds, east, north, south, west. From one end of the heaven to the other. There's going to be a national wise gathering of the Jews. The wheat. That's the wheat. Now learn a parable of the fig tree. Self-righteousness. The, the children of Israel. When his branch is yet tender. And put it forth leaves. Ye know that summer is nigh. April, May, springtime. So when the tree does this. You can tell what the season is. So likewise ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near, even at the doors. Revelation 2 and 3. Jesus said, I'm standing at the door. Some people, and I'm one of them, you can take those seven churches. And I, also, I apply them to the church ages today, but they are also probably seven church age periods of the tribulation period. I apply that too. I could be wrong. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away. Once that happens, just before Revelation 20. You see how he is laying out the book of Revelation right in order? But my word shall not pass away. You know what the last chapter talks about? In Revelation it talks about the warning of the words of God doesn't it after New Jerusalem after the new earth and after the new heavens what's the very last thing said before even so come Lord Jesus whosoever shall change the words had I just told you the word of God will be there eternity sometimes again I'll just say myself it would be wonderful if God gave us our Bibles in glory to carry around uh, I just I just think wonderful things. I, I could be wrong, but wouldn't it be great if God gave you your Bible back to hold for all eternity? What if you do if you don't have a Bible? Imagine God giving you a Bible back and you still got it in plastic <laughs> and no way to open it. You know, just a little joke there. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall never pass away. They are eternal. Genesis to Revelation will be in heaven, in new glory, new heavens, new earth, new Jerusalem. But, of that day and hour, what? Knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only, capital F. Now, the whole witness will say, even Jesus doesn't know. Jesus is in flesh. Jesus is limited by what he can do in the flesh. He can't sit at the right hand of the Father when he's on the earth for three and a half years, can he? You know, when Jesus became a man, there, there were some things that happened to his life. He didn't live amongst the angels anymore for 33 and a half years. He didn't hear glory, glory, the, the cherubim, Revelation 4. He didn't hear that for 33 and a half years. And he had Satan nipping at his toes all during that 33 and a half years. Believe me, Satan was on a... Listen, every time these Pharisees came up, that was Satan. Peter with his big mouth. He's, Jesus told Peter one day, get behind me. Who? Satan. Satan didn't try that when, when Jesus sat in the throne with the Father. So I'm, it's a very, very, very thin line of Jesus on the earth as a man and God the Father. And if I were to deal with Jehovah, I'd just say, hey, I don't know. But the Bible does say he's God and God is Jesus. Now you want to debate? You carry it out with Jesus. I believe he's God. But as the days of Noah, that's Noah, were, so shall also the coming of of the Son of Man be. Now, he's going to get all you people running after the earthquakes and stuff like that. 
He's going to tell you, guess what? Life will always be normal. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating. Everybody eats. That's capable of eating. I know some may have to have tubes and IVs, but the normal person, he eats. And drinking, that doesn't say booze. You know, water, soda, coffee, tea, marrying. That's normal. And giving in marriage. Unto the day that Noah entered the ark, no one listened. Now, I'll tell you one thing is remarkable, I will say. Only eight people went into that ark. And this is this is me again. This is me speaking. I think when you get to the final days of what Jesus is speaking about here, you're not going to have many converts. You're going to upset the church people who count the notches in their belts because there's going to be no more notches. Eight people with Noah. Now we're going to get to another man. And knew not until the flood came and took them away, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. It's going to be people that said, it said that Noah preached. There's going to be people who are going to preach Jesus. And people did not listen. And the judgment came. The flood came and they died. Jesus came and they'll die. Then shall two be in a field. Now this is not the church age. I've seen it referenced as a church age. Alright? Two in the field. The one shall be taken and the other left. Rapture? Really? Really? You and your saved wife are out in the garden planting and picking and stuff like that. And Jesus, the trump of God, calls and do I take the wife or do I take the husband? And eh, take everyone and leave them. Is that really right? Yeah, I was in a church that that was the rapture teaching. And I've seen videos, Christian videos. Two women shall be grinding at the mill, working, making bread. Say they're in church. Fellowship dinner coming up. They're both sick. The one shall be taken and the other left. Really? If you're going to apply that to the church. You know what the odds are going to be at the end of the tribulation period? You're going to have two people. One will be taken and one will be left. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord does come. Be on the watch. After the desolation of, is in the holy place, you better be great care. You better have your eyes open. Because the Lord ain't going to come unto after that event. But know this. Now watch this. That if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would have not suffered his house to be broken up. One house. Who's the good man and who's the thief? Satan would be the good man and the thief would be Jesus. He's coming to take the people of the house. The thief would come to take what? The one that was grinding, leaving the other. The one that was in the field. I know that sounds hard. But Satan doesn't know when Jesus is coming. If Satan would know when Jesus is coming, he'd been very much prepared. He doesn't know when the Lord's coming. Remember we read, no, not the angels, but my father only. Satan doesn't even know when it's going to happen. When Jesus Christ shows up, he's going to shock Satan. Remember the, remember the parable we read, the wheat was planted and somebody planted the tares? Well, doesn't somebody come in and take the wheat and put it in the barn? Well, who's in charge of all that? Who's in charge of the tares? Satan. Luke 12, 39, Revelation 3, 3, and 16, it's like 13 or 50. I got bad handwriting. Therefore, be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not, 
the Son of Man coming. You're going to be prone to think, ah, he's going to wait. It ain't going to happen. It's what he's warning you. Who then is a faithful and wise servant, whom his Lord has made ruler over his household, to give them meat in due season? Blessed is that servant. You know, there's one race of people today that, that get offended if you call them servants or have anything to do with servitude. That's gone. That's out of their language. That's out of their talk. That is not a word to be used among them anymore. And you know, they were the people that would get widely saved. They were the ones who would come up with songs about Jesus. Things have changed. Whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing, being a verb. Verily I say unto you, that he shall make him ruler over all his good. The one that's going to be rewarded at the end of the tribulation period is the one that's still doing. There is a rapture in the tribulation. When that rapture in the tribulation happens, you better be grinding, you better be in the field. And you better be working. You better not be slacking. And when that rapture happens, if you are found doing what you're supposed to be doing, you'll be rewarded. At the church rapture, when that happens, we all go. I don't care if you're a worldly Christian. I don't care if you're a couch potato Christian. I don't care if you're a dead Christian. There's no one Christian here and then leave the other behind. There's none of that. All Christians go but here is on works but and if they but and if that evil servant shall say in his heart my Lord delayeth his coming now he's not coming even though the signs are there they may preach Matthew 24 I uh, no, not coming yet and shall begin to smite his fellow servants Remember that's what he told the disciples? Brothers shall betray brother. They shall betray you. Here's one of them right now. Here's a Jew betraying his own brother Jew. To eat and drink with the drunken. Now here is drinking alcohol. The Lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him. And in an hour that is not aware, he is not aware of, and shall cut him asunder and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth, and that reference is always to hell. So when you reach, if I'm preaching to Jews right now, and I don't know when the rapture is going to happen, but if you're in the tribulation period, and then you hear news out of the holy place. A person has spoken up and said he is God. You had better adhere to the law. You better adhere to your works. You better keep your eyes to Jesus Christ. And you better keep yourself right. And if you slack, your soul will be damned, even being God's chosen people, the Jews. And we'll get even more with Matthew 25, Lord willing. 